How's it going guys? Uh, so today's video uh, is basically linked to the last video I made which was about Rugby18 and the new pictures and stuff that we saw in their video they previously uploaded. Uh, so today's one is going to be the comparison between the graphics and the actual players in real life to, make, to see if they basically look similar to what they look like in real life. I've tried to match up the players with the players I think they're supposed to be because it's quite difficult because they don't give a name. Uh, so I'm going to go by what they look like the most and see if they look like them. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Uh, so the first one then, as you can see, I've tried and I've, uh, taken, put the pictures above the characters. Uh, so as you can see, we have uh, Cabanaro on the left hand side of the screen. Uh, they've got the hair right, I think so anyway. Um, I don't know whether it's the lighting or not, but it seems to be the skin colour is a bit pale. Uh, I'm guessing it's the lighting though, because it seems to be a few of those players are pl uh, quite pale as well, so it's got to be the lighting of the stadium, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Uh, we've also got G Holmes there in the line out, it's a bit blurry because it's focusing on the rugby ball the most, uh, but yeah, you can just about make out they've got the right hair and stuff for him. And then we've got Dan Cole then on the opposite team, uh, which basically looks like him anyway. Um, but yeah, it, it, there's some similarities there, it's not amazing. Uh, but you can kind of see they're, they're supposed to look like each other and with there being no replay system in the actual game itself uh, so you only have like a zoom out thing, you won't get right close to them uh, you should be able to tell that they're the players anyway uh, so let's move on to the next one okay so the next one is an in-game menu uh, I tried to match up the players with the pictures I thought they're supposed to be uh, so you got S -K 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 or Kipu I'm not great at pronouncing the players' names. Uh, he doesn't really look like who he's supposed to be. Because um, like the hairstyle is kind of similar, but it seems too flat to me anyway. And the, they got the beard right, but the facial expression, I don't know. It seems a bit off to me, but I don't know. It might not be him, but I've, that's the one that looks the most like him anyway. And then we got uh, Jay, Jay Dante from... Uh, France, the French, uh, ah, from the French team. Uh, he looks quite similar to it. The hairstyle isn't like 100% on, uh, and the stubble is a bit different, but he does look pretty much like his character. Um, so that one they've nailed quite well, uh, but the Australian player doesn't really look like who he's supposed to look like. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, so this is a uh, substitution. Right, so you can tell this one is E Holmes coming on the field because uh, you can tell by the nose and stuff. That's kind of like what I went by the when I was looking through the Exeter team to uh, look for the players that match what they look like in the game. Uh, so yeah, you can kind of tell that's him because he's got the uh, sit and style nose. Uh, he's quite pale looking as well, so it's, it's got to be him. And then we got uh, O Atkins coming off the field. I knew that because the hairstyle and obviously the position and the number he plays. Uh, so he looks quite similar. We don't get to see a face though, that's the only thing. Uh, but from the from behind he looks pretty much the same as his photo with the hairstyle. And uh, yeah, E Holmes, it looks pretty much like him. But yeah, uh, let's go to the next one now. Okay, so this is Quade Cooper taking a kick for Australia. Uh, they haven't got the exact uh, routine that he goes through for, to take the kick because uh, I think he does something with his arms so it's kind of like like that or something like that I don't know, it, look up his kicking on uh, Google and you'll see his certain routine that he has um, but yeah, taking the actual kick which is the picture that lined up in this picture for him uh, he seems pretty much very similar to the way he's about to run up and stuff anyway for it um, from hairstyle wise and the characters like overall shaping and stuff of it they've got it quite well uh, it looks a lot like him um, but yeah you can just tell you know like when you see like the shoulders and the arms and like the leg depth and everything you can kind of you can tell it's quite Cooper so they do, they did that one quite well and moving on then to our next one, which is our final one, guys. Right, so this is the in-game uh, in-game thing for match. And uh, so you can tell this one is M Lee's. This is probably one of the best 
character comparison pictures that I've got. Uh, so that one is clearly Emily's because you can tell by the hairstyle, uh, the character's face and skin colour. Uh, well, basically all the similarities, it matches him pretty well. They did a really good job with that. The comparison is pretty much spot on. Uh, obviously it's not going to be 100% amazing like FIFA games because it's a low budget game. Well, it's not a low budget, but they haven't got a higher budget. The same as FIFA or EA. Uh, but yeah, you can tell it's him. And then you've got Dan Cole and you can pretty much tell it's him as well. They've got his uh, facial expressions and everything right with that one. Same skin colour. In fact, yeah, spot on the skin colours as well. Um, and obviously the certain uh, depths of his face and everything as well, they got spot on. So. Yeah, I thought they look quite similar. They look pretty good. As I said, it's not meant. It, it can't be 100% detailed because it's not like the budget isn't as good as EA. Uh, but yeah, overall I think it's quite good. Some of them look pretty amazing. So we we'll just have to wait and see when the game comes out. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Uh, comment, let me know what you thought, and let me know if you think they look similar. And just let me know your opinion overall on the comparison between real life and in-game characters um, and also let me know if you're enjoying seeing the Rugby 18 game, uh, Rugby 18 videos because uh, I enjoy making them, it's pretty fun I'm getting quite excited now for the game to come out as I said I probably will be uploading on release day that's depending on if game well game is like the company in the UK which I've pre-ordered from uh, it, also, it all depends on if it comes on release day or not so yeah uh, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one, guys. By the way, right before we go, uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We've uh, got over 900 subscribers now, so that's pretty awesome, guys. Do other rugby videos, and yeah, there'll be rugby 18 videos on the way. And uh, yeah, just thanks for the support, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.